on. Good start. It's clean this time. There's nothing between them. Munnery started well on the outside. Looking through to the centre, though. It's a blanket. Anyone could win it. Maybe just in front. Robinson's coming now. Whether it was Hoffman or Robinson, I don't know. We've got the defending champion and former champions as they take their blocks. Lane four, Ashley Cheney in the black cap, the one to take note of. Away now, the Women's Beach Bit Championship of Australia, and Cheney away well. Will she defend it? We're doing well from Great Britain. The big, lanky legs of her doing well. Luna's out of it along with Smith. So she heads towards the line. She's won it easily. Won a dead set easily. Ashley Cheney defends it. She cannot be beaten. She came into this place, the readiness of hot favourites. At the start, what do you actually focus on your start? Start's sort of different to the track. Track can get away with the bullet start here. I try and um, keep my spacing wider and once again don't actually go for too much push out of the blocks because it isn't as hard as a, a track block where you can actually push very hard. During the start it's important not to dig your blocks too deeply. At all set now to get ready. And they really do motor along and cover the distance pretty quickly. Place your weight over your shoulders when you're in a take your marks position. In a set position, move your hips up and your weight forward. Pull your hips out rather than push from the blocks. Make sure your hips and shoulders a square to the ground. Have a look at this now. They got away well. Surface Paradise left behind. Third of the New South Wales Championships. Barbon will get out quickly. The last to go down is Atkins. When the gun goes, drive your arms up and back as fast as you can. Athletes need to clear their mind and listen to the first noise they hear and react very quickly. Try and take longer steps to keep your body low when you accelerate. Remember, pull out of the blocks and try not to push down hard. Don't push out hard on the blocks. After a runner clears the blocks, they need to move quickly into an acceleration. Watch this perfect start. Balanced, hips up, hands up. Great start. Beach sprinting is about moving as quickly as you can on the sand. Paradise's speed dropped off. Now they come home up at the top corner. Could be the top corner. I can't pick up the cap at top corner. Whoa. Oh, Bronte. Is Bronte? Beach sprinters should land as softly on the sand as they can, slapping the surface rather than pushing. Their landing foot is in front of the centre of gravity. The most important thing is high knee lift when running on the sand. The best technique is to land with your foot outstretched and slightly flat on the sand.
Fast hands promote fast legs. Leg speed is the key to running on the sand. A runner's hips need to be high off the sand and a strong arm swing promotes this. The rear leg because of the sand, lags a little bit behind and doesn't lift as high as in track running. And in terms of striding on the sand, what do you focus on particularly? Um, strong arms mainly, um, good high strong arms, um, good knee lift. I think the most important thing like any sprinting, especially beach sprinting, is obviously stay relaxed, uh, especially on the soft surface. If you, if you do tighten up and try and push when the competition's close, I find you basically you're going to be in a lot of trouble. So relaxing is probably the main word that I try and use for the for the 90 metres in the sprint. A good start always sets up a race. In the centre of the field, Nick Rear, he's going well too. Munnery is there for sure. Jackson not far away from him. Munnery will take the gold easy in the end. Jackson through for second. It's very tight for third. The man from Corumban. Arm swing should be back behind the waist, and at least to shoulder height. Look at this perfect example. Runners have to keep their form right through the finish line. Slight forward body lean, high arms and driving right through the finish. The lunge technique can win races. Runners shouldn't lean too far forward or they'll fall over. We see from her so often, and she was really coming out of wasn't she, Smith? But she certainly got there just by her hair. Ashley Cheney from Mollymook was third. And there she is. She goes across the line. Far away from Money or Money will take the gold easy in the end. Jackson through for second. It's very tight for third. The man from Corumban, Brett Robinson, may have got there just ahead. A runner should look at the finish line, keep very balanced hands up and hips up as they drive through the line. In relays, starts are done with the baton. Athletes need to hold tightly onto the baton in their preferred hand and just forget it's there as they run. Novices usually take the baton at shoulder height and then put their head down as they accelerate. Here's another high baton change. Taking a baton high slows down the relay change speed. To get the best relay change, a runner should come out low and take the baton between waist and shoulder height. He's a five-time Australian Beach Relay Champion, Bryce Johnston, in action. 10 to 15 metres before the changeover zone, the runner puts his hand up with the baton. The runner has to guide the baton into the hands. The receiver holds her hands out, outstretched, and awaits the baton. The V formation is the safest way to take a baton. <laughs> 